super cool guys never been to anything like this before this is definitely my first time going to a national park while i'm driving the 18 wheeler so there's a white sand national monument that's pretty close to here and i'd honestly really like to go check it out but i need to see exactly how far it's going to be from the truck stop that i'm at and what time do they close this is already 5 32 right now and i would honestly have to disconnect the truck from the trailer and i guess i will bobtail over there but like i said if it's too far i can't really do that today so we'll see what happens hey another north american truck over there Dang, that is a nice truck right there. I'm trying to get one like that someday. The extra big sleeper. Try to get a little bit closer to this truck over here. All right guys, so I just talked to someone here at the fuel station and they were saying that I should be able to bobtail over there to that national park. So I'm definitely gonna try to do so. I literally just checked at the Uber prices and they were like a hundred something dollars and that was just for one way. So there's no way that I'm about to pay that price, but I am gonna go ahead and disconnect real quick and see if we can get over there in time and check it out. extra cranks make sure it ain't going nowhere okay I'm gonna go ahead and put a lock on my kingpin or we can make sure it's here whenever I come back. All right guys, and just like that, we're good to go. I'm gonna start heading over to the National Monument and I'll catch you guys over there. All right guys, so we're about to be pulling up in about two minutes. You can already start to see some of the dooms from back here. And there's the sign, National Monument. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm actually pretty anxious right now. I don't know why, but I think it's because I'm not really sure what they're gonna say about me being in a truck like this. I mean, yeah, the guy at the gas station said it was okay, but I mean, that's just some random guy. So I'm not sure if he's gonna know for sure, but we'll see what they tell me. And you know, hopefully they have some spots where you can like get out and walk around because maybe I can just park and then do that. I definitely don't know if they're gonna let me just drive this through the park, which they're probably not. So we'll see what they say though. All right, so we're actually within the park right now. I'm gonna try to get to a better area where we can see a little bit more clearly. But here's the start to some of the dunes. So I actually just talked to a park ranger and she was saying that I didn't even have to pay right now. Normally you would have to pay like $40 to get in, but I guess cause it's later in the day and she was also saying that some of the park is actually closed off right now, um, that it's completely free. So I'm about to just go back here and just kind of explore around and see what all we can uh, view from the road. And she also mentioned that there's a spot where I can park the truck and get out and kind of walk around and explore by foot and check it out. Now I need to do more research to see exactly why these dunes are here. 
because I have no idea. I've never heard of this place, but I do know they test missiles in the area. So that's pretty interesting. And you know, it's just like, it literally looks like we're right by the beach and we're not. And there's just all this sand. But like I said, maybe we can get to an area where it's, it's more uh, pure and the sand's wider drive a little bit further back in here I think she mentioned that it was about 10 miles back and then I'll be taking a left so the road is blocked here this is the part where they were saying we could take a left we're gonna go ahead and go over there it looks like we got some parking too and I'm actually gonna get close to these dunes I'm literally the only semi truck here so I think that's kind of funny but RVs, buses, no cars. So I need to take a right because I'm like basically an RV at this point. I think we're actually just gonna park right up here. Everywhere else was like a straight drop off of the edge of the road and here actually looks pretty smooth So it's perfect for us and we don't have to worry about anybody blocking us in so two birds one stone Can't believe we actually made it in in a semi truck. Let's go check it out guys Dang look at that view right there. Wow, that's incredible All right, let's get a closer look. So here we are guys now that we're a bit closer show it off from the bottom view and now we're gonna go ahead and walk up here to the top and see what all we can find super cool guys never been to anything like this before this is definitely my first time going to a national park while I'm driving the 18 wheeler and I've literally been driving for about a year. I wish I would have started doing this type of stuff sooner, but it's never too late to start. Here I am. Go ahead and start taking advantage of being able to drive all over the US by doing things like this. It's incredible, guys. I'm very fortunate to be in the position that I'm in to where I can just travel around and see things like this because of my job. A lot of people pay a lot of money to do this type of stuff, so. This is so cool guys. I'm gonna see if I can get to the top over here. Looks like it would be really hard to climb, but let's try. Honestly, I can't even believe that I'm climbing to the top like this. I would have thought it would be too hard. Dang, look at that. I better be out of breath right now. But yeah guys, so apparently there's another part of the park that's closed off unfortunately, but they said that the sand's a bit wider than it is here. 
and it also has less debris as you can see the debris scattered around well apparently there's less of that so i guess it would be a bit nicer but this is like still incredible in my opinion and i'm super glad that i was able to come here regardless especially being that i'm in an 18 wheeler and it's not like you can just always conveniently pull over to to go explore areas like this so like i said i'm really thankful to be here regardless but yeah guys i'm gonna try to catch the sunset over here i'm gonna go a little bit over there and see if we can get a better view as well and make sure that you smash that like button for me help this video grow help it circulate around and also feel free to give me a subscription comment something for me to do next or another place to go to uh, for right now i think this is a pretty interesting thing for me to do with my channel is just getting out and going to different areas like this and i definitely want to continue doing so if you guys have any other suggestions i'm definitely open to it and just let me know but i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll catch you guys in the next video